We play with wrestling guys. My brother, they, my brother, they play with the big world wrestling, federation wrestling guys. You know, like the big molded rubber? It's like a foot tall, like they're heavy, and their arms come pre-shaped in some muscle pose. And this shit wasn't even worth playing with. I think my brother and my brother only got them because they looked like the guys. You know, the British Bulldogs, Kamala, whatever. I mean, they got the characters right, but you couldn't wrestle with them. So, my brother and my brother, playing with the big, doofy, WWF guys, nah, nah, forget it. They're not playing with them because you can't play with them. Because they're not built to be played with. They're built to be put on a shelf. Yo, they're not toys. Nah, it's worse. It's worse than not being toys. They're nothing. They're not productive. And they give you the wrong idea about what wrestling is. Those big rubber things that don't move, though they make you think that wrestling's all about big and static and pre-posed and color. Nah, it's about what the toy makers dictated based on what they thought would be interesting to kids. But see, nah, I was a kid. And what I found interesting as a kid was being able to do some, you know, playing with my fucking toys. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I had, I had the AWA. American Wrestling Association, wrestling guys, see? They were small, and you could move their arms, and you could move their legs, you could turn their heads a little bit. I mean, you could play with them. You could almost do real matches and have, you know, do real moves with them. Ah, see, the thing was, though, nobody in New York City knew nothing about the AWA. WWF was on Saturday mornings, 11 a.m., right? They had the WrestleMania, they had Cindy Lauper, the whole MTV hookup. They had the rock and wrestling connection or whatever. Yo, all of that made it look like those toys would be fun, right? Yeah, but those toys weren't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hate those toys. But the AWA guys, yo! Yo! I could tell stories with those guys. I had whole drawn out epic storylines about who hated who and who won what belt. And I acted out with six little AWA guys. And my brother and my brother, yeah, they make fun of me. But fuck. <laughs> so 11 a.m., when the wrestling came on and they got all excited about the colors and the music and the cool, I don't know, hair, whatever the fuck they got excited about, right? They would stop eating the fake flakes and start beating up on each other. Try to imitate the moves of Junkyard Dog and Ricky Steamboat and the Heart Foundation. Yo, but while they were doing all that, I was watching for real. And I was understanding every second of the stories that were being told. 